Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Kawaii Fairy Cosmetics. Thank you for joining me today. So in today's round, basically, I am going to be do finding brown gold makeup in K-Beauty, but this is the seventh round, round number seven. So today's is round features APU's um, personal, cover tone, personal tone cover. Now, I know I've done previous shades of this before, but uh, this shade is like a darker one, C07, so we're gonna just check it out and see. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a rundown about APU Personal Tone Cover Foundation. Oh, sorry, it's APU Personal Tone Foundation Cover. Offering a flawless coverage and a dewy finish, this lightweight liquid foundation of adheres smoothly for a long-lasting look. Fortified with SPF 30 PA++ sun protection, anti-inkle and whitening properties. Um, not really looking for the whitening properties, but anyway. So... That's for, I'm reading this description from yesstar.com. And so, take, take out the box. This is what it looks like. Eek. I'm scared. But, um, don't worry. Well, as usual, I have something else to, to actually try and this thing, see if time make it work if it does fail. And um, also, we're going to be actually for contouring, we're actually going to be looking at the it's called the Nature Public Dual Contour Stick as such. I don't know if the lighting, if you can see the name and whatever it said. Yeah, and this is in shade number one, warm vanilla. I'm wondering why I shouldn't have taken a darker shade, but anyway. So I'm just gonna go quickly over what I've got on my face so far. So you know my normal, usual, currently so far. It's my Cosfix Oil-Free Ultra Moisturizing Lotion with Bud Sap. You can see it's like almost finished, yeah? and my Innisfree Jeju Orchid Eye Cream. But before I put that on, I've been trying out a vitamin C serum. And it is the TM My Signature Red C Serum. Um, I'm gonna do a separate review video on this because um, it's okay, it's it's all right. It, it kind of works, but I don't know whether maybe I'm supposed to be using it by itself or using it with certain products not using certain products um though quick um quick yes or no on this i don't know if i would actually recommend this to anyone else i wanted to gift this to anyone because they are it, it works okay it's all right um the only thing is if you're wearing this during the daytime please wear a sunblock um this here is there's a few other factors to it that just doesn't make it exactly very pleasant so i'll talk more about this in a, another video Okay, so yeah, I've got that on my face currently. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in with my primer. Um, I'm supposed to use my Holika Holika Naked Face Bouncing Primer, but I feel that just makes my tone a bit too cool, too 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 light. So I'm going to go in my normal Woods Face Smoothing Primer, and I'm just going to put a little bit on. So yeah, I always keep forgetting to do have a compact. Oh wait, no. My eyeshadow has a nice little mirror. Ain't it cute? Yeah. So, I think we're now in we're now in July, and in Durban we're very blessed with warm weather during winter time. But we do have our cold days, like today. Today is lovely and sunny, as you can see, you know, with the natural lighting. But it's also very windy, so and it's a cold wind, like so. You can actually hear the wind. And oh my gosh, like I, that's why you know, to you guys, please take care of your skin, especially during winter time, because during winter time it is that is when you know our, the moisture of our skin like kind of just gets like sucked out of our skin, our face, and all over. So please do take care. Make sure you use a good moisturizer, um, of course according to your skin type, but also maybe think of actually using you know um, a nice hydrating mask, so, you know, like after you wash your face in the afternoon after work or after school and um, actually that's why as you can see I'm actually wearing a full black pornic top because this that, this morning when I went for yoga um, just walking from the parking lot to the gym alone was so cold I was like oh gosh so I said no, no I'm gonna wait and I made sure I packed something warm so I wore this when I came out of the gym so that you know if the wind hits me I'm good Okay, so that's our fun our primer done. Okay, so let's go in with this this one here and see. 
so I've been trying to actually just try and find um, coin. I know that I usually have, you know, kind of like said, oh, you know, coin beauty brands should try and actually, you know, um, accommodate darker brown skin. But I think sometimes uh, I was reading some, some, some comments somewhere that, you know, with Korean makeup, you must remember, Korean makeup was not manufactured originally with the intention of actually going outside of its spectrum. It was originally manufactured for Korean people, not for people outside of its spectrum. So, and it's only now that because Korean beauty and Korean pop music and Korean food and culture is not becoming so much more popular in the world that, you know, now Korean beauty brands have realized, you know, okay, maybe we need to actually expand our shade range. So, yeah. So, it's a little pump here. Let's go and see. It actually doesn't look too bad. What I've noticed is that the thing about Korean beauty brands is that for us, for like for in for my skin tone, I need something with a little bit of a yellow in it, a little bit. Let's say a little bit yeah, like that, just a tinge, just so it doesn't look ashy. This is not too bad, I guess. It looks white, but when I'm looking at it now off the off the camera, um, it's a little better than what I've seen previously. So it's not too bad. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, let's apply it and see how we do. So, beauty blender, dunk it in a bit of water to moisten it. Apparently, I, was saying, I think I've been using my beauty blender wrong because um, apparently beauty blender is supposed to like wet it, I think, and then apply foundation. I've just been using it like dry as is, so, oh well, yeah. Also, concealer, I'm kind of confused when, okay, so back in the day with concealers, oh by the way, this is the same cover collection to concealer in number two inch page. With concealer, I always thought the concealer would go underneath the foundation rather than over. But now I see now with most YouTube YouTube beauty uh, bloggers, um, they put it on top. So I'm a little bit confused whether it should go underneath or on top. But well, we'll just do this underneath for now so I don't forget about it on. I hope I don't mess my nice uh, hole in it top. Oh, there's my mother. Almost really kill me. No, she won't kill me. She's just like, you know, oh, you should have worn an older top or something. But then, well, I'm beauty doing a video. So, yeah. Um, if you're wondering why my under my eyes look very dark, it's because I actually had oil eyeliner on earlier. So, that's why. So, that's what you know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't come off. Also, I've been noticing that my beauty blender is kind of um, disintegrating. I don't know if you see it. Can you notice? Like, it's got little tears and stuff, whatever. And I'm kind of a little bit surprised because I thought this sort of thing should actually last um, quite a while. I mean, okay, so I've been using beauty blender from last year, last year or this year. But, okay, at most I'd say it's maybe been a year or so. And um, I just feel like if it's going to start like disintegrating after a year of using it whereas um, I don't know if you remember you know the um, rectangular cosmetic brushes that uh, we used to use the white ones uh, the olden older fashion ones yeah so and yet those I still have those and actually they still actually a lot more durable than this year so I'm like really like I sometimes wonder whether a beauty blender is actually or like this kind of beauty sponge is actually worth it because it's it means that basically you'd have to mostly buy a new one each year whereas yes i know okay fine yes you should dispose of it after a while but just if you like you know try, you should try to be a little more economical a little more um reasonable especially when it comes to these other things because i doubt this is <laughs> fabric or biodegradable or anything that sort so if you get what I mean, you know, we're trying to actually, um, you know, reduce the amount of plastic we use, but yet, if we're going to be just increasing the, the amount of um, other plastic items that we use, then what's the point of having to actually, um, you know, oh, 
let's stop using our plastic straws let's stop you know let's reduce our one use uh, plastic bottles or whatever you know what how you stopping one thing but then you increasing the demand for something else that's still plastic so if you get what i mean unless of course somebody comes up with the bright idea of um recycled of beauty blenders that um are made out of recycled plastic that would be something else i feel like this like a piece of small fly over here or something on my lip okay so yeah this is how i look meh okay so let's go in with this baby here let's go in I forgot to put my hair now. Pony's hair. Mm. I should put my hair in a ponytail and put it on. Okay, so on the camera, obviously, it looks a lot lighter than my normal skin tone or complexion, which is the truth. And when I look at it off camera, um, you can actually see it is looking a bit uh, fake as such. So what we're going to do is we're going to hope, we're going to now try and see if our contour stick will come in handy. I was hoping that actually this would actually absorb quite a bit of product actually so that you know it's not too much but even with a little bit it's still very white okay uh, though I will admit the coverage is pretty is pretty decent because I've only put like like a tiny bloop of it and um, now a tiny bloop we actually managed to do quite a bit of coverage you know in terms of blemishes and stuff so hmm. okay so let's try this one out okay so let me just actually put on my glasses so i can actually read it so this is the nature public dual contour stick it comes this is in shade 01 warm vanilla I don't know if there is a darker shade. I don't know why I didn't choose anything if there was darker. So it says here, multiple dual contour stick warm vanilla. Dual contouring stick enhances the hidden contours of the face with its lightweight texture, soft application, and matte finish. How to use? Apply the highlighter. Oh, so one part is a highlighter and one part is a con is shading. So apply the highlighted areas you wish to define such as the T-zone, top of the nose, cheek and cheeks, as shown in the picture. Okay, I'll show you the picture just now. Apply shading with areas that need shading, such as the chin line, nose bridge, tip of your cheek, and side, tip of your nose and side of your cheeks. Blend well for natural look using your hands, puff, or brush. Uh, okay, so, so I don't know if you can see the picture here. It kind of like gives you a little bit of a guideline on how to use it. Uh, it's actually kind of nice. So, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and see you hoping this actually works out pretty decently. One vanilla, here I come. Oh, it's cute. Cute container, this is. So I think I think this side here is the shading, this side is going to highlight. So it's open to highlight the worst one. It looks whitish. Yeah, it's it's white. It's, it's not like, it's a, when they say highlight, they're not talking about 
is it a highlight? Does it shimmer? No. It does have a little bit of shimmer, I think. I think. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out whether it has a shimmer or not. Uh, it does seem to have a bit of a shimmer, I think. Oh well, yeah, yeah, it does have a bit of shimmer, so... Okay. Alright. I was about to say, no, this is not your typical highlighter that you normally use to a typically... Uh, I feel like my hair is not... I was about to say, and then like, I was like, okay, I can't like, it looks like oh, there's a bit of shimmer in there somewhere. So... It looks like it has a little bit of shimmer, very tiny amount, very, um, very, how do I say this, um, very, like, like a tinge, it's almost unnoticeable, whereas this is the shading. I'm hoping this will actually work nicely, let's see. Hey, are you seeing this? Can you see it? Okay, let me go over there. Can you see? It's a little bit darker. It actually looks alright. Hey. Well done, well done. This is better contour stick than Tony Moy's Panda Dream contour stick. But I'm hoping it actually works on this here. So, did my condition oxidize? Hmm, oh, it looks like it oxidized a little bit. Hmm. Okay, alright. Let's try this baby out and see. Uh, I can't see. Oh, can I can't see anything on the my mirror? But hold on, I think I can see a little bit of it over here. Okay, all right. Wow, that's nice. It's nice to see a you know a noticeable. Um, contour. Okay, all right. This is this is actually nice. I don't normally contour, but um, it's kind of nice to know that the Korean beauty brand made a nice contour stick. You know, this is a bit old, but yeah. So I don't know if you can notice it now. It's only on that side of the thing. You notice it. It's very, it's very velvety and creamy, so it's actually kind of nice. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it, but um, I can see a little bit, I think. But yeah, it's kind of nice. Is it actually helping with bringing some color back? I wonder. So let's try on the chin area. I can see it a little bit more noticeable here. I don't know if you can see it. Is it just me or is it actually working out? Kind of working out. I think we might just have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so let me do this on my face. One time. I'm actually quite nice. I'm liking this, even as a foundation, because it's nice and very creamy. It's, uh, I don't know, I mean, like they do a little line here, line here, as such. So, okay. Not bad, Nature Republic, not bad. This is actually, I'm actually kind of liking this. I don't know, I'm actually liking this. I, was almost, I might actually like use this on a day-to-day -day basis, so. And maybe, I'm just wondering with the highlight, if it's possible, maybe use it under the skin, I don't know. That you can see definitely. <laughs> That's a definite, so... 
because this is very much lighter. This is their idea of a highlighter. But I think, you know what, this actually blends in quite nicely actually. I think this is actually quite nice about it, is that it blends in. It blends in very nicely. That's what I like about it. I'm actually kind of impressed with this. Not bad. Let me put my glasses on and see, probably. Mm, maybe you could do a little bit more brown. I feel like I'm putting on a whole lot of makeup. I don't normally like putting on so much of makeup as such. Can you see that brown line? But I must say, I'm actually, I'm actually quite liking the texture of the Nature Public um, stick because even though it's a stick, but it's actually quite creamy and it's kind of nice. Alright. Hmm. Not bad, it's still a bit white, but anyway, it's uh, so so. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and actually um, bring some color back in. So, what I did was I actually bought a, sh a darker shade of foundation. Um, at this time, I just bought this Passion Complete Cover Liquid Foundation Moisturizing Formula. This is in shade what? What shade is this? I don't know, it's uh, it's one of the shades that I actually just chose. So yeah, so I'm gonna just do that a bit and I'll see you in a bit, just now. Okay, so I've just done it up. As, as you can see, I'm obviously a much more warmer color now after putting just like a dot, like literally a dot and just blending it out with the, with the beauty blender over here, the forehead, all over. So yeah, so um, I thought this might be, I was hoping that for a darker color, I was hoping that, you know, it'd be a little bit more nicer, a little more thing, a little more, I don't know, uh, suitable for me, but unfortunately not, and I don't this, and unfortunately I'm gonna have to give this a, no, no, I don't know if I've done this before in my other videos, but yeah, however, this baby here, um, I'm actually kind of impressed with her, she's actually kind of cool, so, yeah, this is definitely something that I'm going to be using day on a daily basis, maybe. And now, just to complete the makeup look, I'm just going to do what my lips, cheeks, and eyes. So I'm just going to be right back, and I'll show you our final look. Hi everyone. So I'm done doing my eye makeup. So just to let you guys know, um, I've used the um, cacao. Sorry, the Face Shop by Cacao Friends Sweet Peach Mother Pop Eyes Palette number two. It is, I think, yeah, number two. Um, I've just used a bit of a darker color and a little bit of glimmer, <laughs> glimmer, a little bit of glitter shade on the inner uh, uh, eyelid. And I've also used my, um, I've also used for my lips, I've used the Pay Pairs Ink Moist Bung in Bung Rose. This thing's just a little bit, just to, you know, give a little color here. And well, for my eyeliner, I've actually used my homemade uh, DIY card. <laughs> but you guys always can use your own homemade, your own eyeliner, or whatever you want to use. But and oh, how could I forget? I use the um, also the the same EcoSoul uh, Prism Blusher in Rainbow. I don't know if you can notice the highlight. I can see it, but even without my glasses on. <laughs> but I think when I put my glasses on, kind of like downplays it a little bit. So. A little bit because a little bit of shade just to actually get down there but yeah it's not bad I, before i know used to usually like highlighter but yeah but guys thank you so much for joining and i hope you liked the video i hope you liked um the little bit tidbit of information i gave you and i hope you guys will like share and subscribe and don't forget to check out my weight my my website www.kawai that's k-a-w-a-i with one i karu cosmetics dot Com. and um, also check me out on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and follow me and please do listen, give a lot of love up here okay hope you guys take care please guys take care if it's winter time it's flu is around as well please make sure you just 
either if you go for your vaccines or you just have extra vitamin C or whatever, just take care of yourselves. And just remember, you're nice, keep going, as Demon says. So guys, listen, take care, love you lots.